Hey guys, the lighting and quality might be a bit different because this is a full of the computers and I'm using this is the gateway. I'm not sure what the model number is. I think it's MD56 or 060. I'm not sure if it's that old or if it's kind of new. Anyway, this is just a few that the mom didn't really want. But it goes as shallow as it seems. At least to me, it seems kind of weird to not want a computer for this reason. But there's a scratch on the outside, and pretty much no one didn't want it. <laughs> and I had multiple issues with my little itty bitty MacBook. And so, I was looking for a different kind of computer. She gave me a couple options, things I wasn't really crazy for. I just wanted something that would run smoothly, and it doesn't have to be a fat eye tech or anything. I just need an older, somewhat durable thing. So, using this thing, I want a big computer that has spaced out keys, and it's not shiny like it's Anyway, I just got done work, came home, wanted to eat my pizzas, I just ate, and now I got this package, and I wanted to do an unboxing. So here's our best friend, whether you're a the 18 or under, regardless, you should be careful. <laughs> So I'm going to move my blankets and such out of the way. I don't think I can really adjust these ones. So I'm going to... Well, I'll keep it plugged in, but I'll space it out a little bit more. I'm just sitting here, like, crisscross up across. Or two of these. <laughs> this is normally what I do when I make a video. And I'm just going to gently get in there. I honestly don't even remember what this package should be from. I don't wear it that much on mine, but I will not know. I hate it when they feel like they have to take the whole other side. <laughs> Hopefully, I should be able to put that back to the sides of the Oh, it was my elf order. Hmm. But I was kind of confused because it said JA Cosmetics, and I was like, what's that? But now I know it means, I guess, another term for like the elf enter and which came from. So yeah, I open it up and I see like shit. <laughs> a bunch of shit. But um nice shit. <laughs> I see a whole bunch of pressure pepper. Oh my god. I never ordered from Elf before and they did a pretty good job of timing. Um let me see. There was a I was able to, um, like, get in touch with them, and basically kind of get, like, tracking number and everything. I don't remember when it shipped. It wasn't long ago. But they did give me a tracking number, and then I called them just the other night, and then they were like, oh, it's Sunday, yada yada. And they're telling me that I could get, well, like if I even wanted to know any more information, that it would be, just to call Monday. But I didn't call, I was just waiting, they said they were in New Jersey, and wait, let me look it up, I can find, well, because I remember they gave me like my confirmation number. Yep, thank you for your order from iZipspace.com. They gave me my order number. They told me what kind of card I used and everything. Let's see. 
because when I like the totals everything. I don't remember when this happened though. I'm trying to find a date. When did this happen? Ah, said December second. And here it is the eleventh, so took about nine days and that isn't so bad. Especially because down where I am there was a lot of snow and everything. Anyway. Not too bad with the whole when I got it. I had no issues really. And I'm gonna show you right back. Oh, and they even have a little paper here. And it tells me what all I've got. And I don't remember what was the second. Pretty sure it was Black Friday or the Cyber Monday. They said if you did over over thirty five dollars they were free shipping. So that's the whole reason why I even did this. And so it comes in a big bag like this. And they had more paper at the bottom to make sure everything was safe. I never order from Elf, I'm so excited. I love seeing, like, things all oh, my own weapons for me. Oh, let's get the old special. I had this before, but this was too dark. I think they might have changed the formula or the coloring, I don't know. But on the website, it was super light. And this one is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in Porcelain. You can actually see that pretty well for being a weapon. I don't plan on opening like every single thing I get and showing you and watching it, but I'm interested in this foundation because I had a porcelain one before and it looked really, really, really orangey. So I thought since there would be shipping and it was only like six dollars in the first place, it wouldn't be too much of a loss. Here it is, very sleek. SPF 15, only three. As a pump. It's very hard to use the pump. <laughs> you have to get it going a couple times to use it. But that was that so cheap. <laughs> and this is the other person. It's right there on my hand. It doesn't look too dark right now at least. Pretty much so for the green color at the same time. And through the bottle it doesn't look that dark. But if I have any problems, I'll give it to one of my sisters or use a moisturizer. But I'll give another try. The other thing I'm going to throw in them is a glossy gloss in wild watermelon. Very pretty. I never had any glossy glosses from Elf. And I am a huge Elf fan. I don't own like most of the merchandise. I feel like only like it's and specs of it. When I find things from Target, sometimes it looks them up. If I find something from the dollar store, I'll pick it up. That just goes to show how little I buy Elf. But hey, I thought, hey, there's one that gets their legit website. And because it's pink is Black Friday. I wasn't sure what all websites were doing deals, and it might sound kind of silly, but I wasn't sure like what was going on in some places. And I knew that Elf usually does pretty good deals anyway. I went to Elf. And this is the color. Pretty much is true to what you see on Elf Can. Smells kind of perfumey. Or that might be the foundation. I'm not really sure. But if you're sensitive to any kind of smell and you don't order those products, then you may not want to pick that up. And then they have these now, which are the new lip balm tints. I assume means like advertised on YouTube and other places. And it made me really want to get one. 
coconut grape, shea butter, rice wax, infused formula, conditioner's lips, point, contact for a long lasting comfort, lightly to ten bobs, gives the perfect luster color for a natural, beautiful look. I'm trying to open it. I want to see you. There we go. Finally out of the back. Tiny little thing like this. And it says help. And that's what it looks like. Hmm. Feel like glitter, isn't it? But it's not uncomfortable or anything. But they do smell pretty sweet. And this one I can tell for sure there is a sweet smell. Sorry this video is kind of long. I like to take my time during these things, even if it contains side ramble. This I know for sure I could have gotten near the Target at the Lowe's, the nearest location at my house, and that's the translucent mattifying powder. But when it comes to mattifying powders, I feel like they should be small enough to go in your purse, but not too big. And I like Elf's packaging, so I picked it up. So there's that. It's I'm not really gonna show you the translucent powder because it's pretty standard. Like translucent powders usually have slight tint of color or just really pale. And that's it. And then this is the corrective concealer. I'm all crazy for concealers because I've been breaking out around my chin and everything and right now my skin looks kinda fine. But that's because I just put on this for filming, which is the 110 24 hour Revlon Color Stay Work. I didn't know this worked. I barely wore any makeup at all to say it worked. So I just put this on now. So I wouldn't look completely horrendous. <laughs> but when I don't use hair minerals, I feel like hair minerals doesn't last that long on my skin and the coverage is kind of wiped away. I don't know. It's weird. But. Sometimes I do want to use a different concealer, so I got these. And you're supposed to use like the green for the redness, and you're supposed to conceal under eye circles, neutralize blemishes, and other skin imperfections, and customized corrective coverage. And they show reviews, so when you go and you want to look at the item on the website, they show other people like being members of ELF, like for the website. And they will do reviews. Some people just hated this or they loved it. So I thought I would give it a try. This I was really kind of excited for. I do have the powdered version. I don't really use it often. But I like the idea of having a cream blush and I don't own many. So I got the contour blush and bronzing cream. I thought that would be cool to have. So let me try to open this up. And I wasn't going to show you the corrective concealers because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them in like all kinds of brands. They just basically have like a slight kind of mini color, a green, a pink, and a yellow. Basic colors of a color wheel. Just in a cream for your face. <laughs> okay, so let's open up the bronzing and contour. <laughs> comes in their standard packaging. They usually do the black and white print for the studio line. And if it's in the standard line, it usually has more white packaging than anything else. Open it up the same way. There it is. That's a plastic sheet. And then you can see my beautiful computer. In the mirror, I always liked, even if I ran out of product, I like carrying the mirror in my bag. So, there's that. I got the sheet off. Just kind of dip my finger slightly in the cream. Kind of see it. 
go with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it right? On my wrist, right there. Kind of see it. And then the bronzer is kind of shimmering. You can almost use it as an eyeshadow. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> and these were new, also. I never heard of them. I love having highlighters. I like. Being able to be met, but if I wanted to have my cheek look glowy, I can do that too. And this is the Baked Highlighter in Blush Gems. One of them had an allure award, like from it being a magazine for it being so popular and everything. And I don't remember which one had it, because I bought a couple of these. I think it was either the Moonlight Pearls or the Blush Gems. I'm pretty sure the Blush Gems one had the allure award. Yeah, these two, the Moonlight Pearls and the Blush Gems. The Blush Gems is more of like a darker kind of champagne. And then the baked highlighter from Moonlight Pearls looks like a paler kind of glitzy color. It's really hard to explain. But perhaps if I swatch them, it might be a bit easier if you actually see it. I didn't even know like how many big products they were making. But after I saw the highlighters, I knew why they automatically had to have them. That's the one for the Moonlight Pearl. And now I'm going to show you the one. For the blush and gems. Okay, let's do some tricky stuff. Yep, tricky. Very pretty. And that's the one for the blush gems. It's a bit more vibrant than the Moonlight Girls one. But they're both really pretty. Put it right there on my hand. You can kind of see it just glow. Now down to the last few things. I wanted to try the Precision Liquid Eyeliner. Because I never even heard of this before. I mean, some of these things I haven't heard of. I might have seen it first. But this, I absolutely had no idea it even existed. And I'm opening on this because I want to see what kind of type and everything it's going to have. Some of the pictures aren't always the same as you actually seeing it in real life. And you're going to be like, oh, wow, well, okay. I've heard a lot of positive things about it. I'm actually pretty impressed that it showed up this well, even for the webcam, that it is a very dark, very pitch black type of liner. And the tip is like this, it's kind of long. It's one of those flimsy kind of tips, so you can like press down, like thinner and thicker lines. Now the only thing is I'm worried about the stain, how it enjoys much, I don't know. And I blew on it to cheat. But overall, I've heard it's supposed to be a really good eyeliner. When I thought for only a few dollars, it wouldn't be too much to lose. It feels like the end of it kind of dried more than the rest in the front. And I went to smudge that part and nothing came on my finger, so. Once you let it dry, not really needs much. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I had this. <laughs> when did you love it when you get it or something you completely forgot you even did it. So this is the maximum coverage concealer that's real free. I mean, the thing that they do that have people break out so much, at least I think, is the oil and the fragrance. Like it can say oil free, but it might have a fragrance and fragrances are what mostly break out people. And so, I'm not sure if this is fragrance free, but 
I was willing to give it a try since it's maximum coverage and only will free. Kind of suckered me into it. So see which drink concealer. Blendable, wearable, customizable coverage. Perfect for hiding tattoos. That's quite a bit of prompts to cover tattoos. I'm like, you would have to make a really good ass concealer to cover a tattoo. Um, if you don't have a tattoo, I guess, kind of like right on your hand and see if it'll cover it. That way, you don't have to like go and get a tattoo just because the concealer said it can cover it. <laughs> Birthmarks. That's also pretty promising. That's like your natural tattoo. Dark circles. Very, 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 very powerful <laughs> for mine on. So if we can cover them, that would be nice. And blemishes and more. Blemishes usually happen all within my chin. So if it can cover it and stay on fine, I'd be very happy. So this is highly pigmented with long lasting for ultimate coverage. So And this is in porcelain, also as well as the foundation. So I bought the foundation thinking, okay, well, if it doesn't work for me, I got the concealer. Concealer doesn't work for me. Oh well, I'll give it to one of my sisters that has slightly darker skin than me. I'm the palest one. And I also picked this up because I I don't see concealer very often. That I would have this big package for concealer. It is 0.7 ounces. I don't know if that's a lot or if that's a good amount, but the packaging makes it look like it's quite a bit. So I'm gonna put it on a clean spot of my hand <laughs> after all these swatches and everything. And it's kind of thick. You can see it. They took a shake my hand. It's not going anywhere. And blend it, and blend it, and blend it, <laughs> and blend it, and blend it, and pretty much looks like the color of my skin. Quite a bit of coverage because I can't really see like the puckles or anything around my skin. Like all right in there is the foundation in this portion of my hand. And you can't even see it because it blends with my skin that well. Then again, my face might be a different shade from my head because that's pretty common. Your skin on your hand isn't always the same as your face. I mean, we're all born with like different tones, so it's kind of normal. Doesn't have that powerful of a smell. And like I told you, that's the suit. What it looks like on my face, how long it wears, and everything. And I'll do a review if you guys want me to. And then the last item here. I was debating on what shade to even get of this. And I got red on it. Here's I love me and my red lips. And this was a darker red than what I think I ever owned. So this was a moisturizing lipstick. So that really makes me think that even if I were to be having chapped lips, I could possibly put this on because it's moisturizing. Velvety Satan. Wow, Satan. Can't believe I said <laughs> that. Not Satan. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, glides on lip. In vibrant color and luminous shine, rich with shade, vitamin A, C, C, and I do for lips. Rich cream formula fills in moisture for long lasting wear comfort. Apply as directed to lips. Put it on the 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 lips. Put it Because they want you to go buy more. <laughs> Run out of this in a week, then I'm pretty sure you're addicted to this lips. I don't have time for this. <laughs> there it is. I think I dented it. <laughs> oh well. Not really true. Even if I did. 
I don't think I've hit that hard. <laughs> you see like little flip marks on the back, but I don't think I did that just now. Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't. But, oh my god. Even on webcam, you can see how beautiful that is. That just looks like perfection and a tube to me. I don't know why. Dead lips have always intrigued me since I was little. It's, they're so iconic, like, you know? Like, red lips just cannot be sexy. Like, they're always sexy. You see how vibrant that is? And how pigmented that is? Even on a webcam? That's when you know it's loud. <laughs> Maybe this webcam is probably one of the higher quality webcams I've ever used, by the way. Other than like the HD webcam I used like a year ago, or maybe quite a few months ago, when I was doing signs and pictures or something. But anyway, I had to end the haul with the best thing I think I have here is this lipstick. I can't wait to see what all of these will actually be like looking like to do. I hope you enjoyed my haul and my little rants and side chats and everything. I think quite a bit of these products would be gems for me. But they don't work for me. I'm not going to bash on them. Unless I felt like I really hated it. But even if I did, it doesn't mean it won't work for you. Test out. Things, even if you just say the worst things about them, because you know what? The product that probably works the worst in every possible way for somebody might work for you, even if it's like really rare that it works. I had a Sonia Castro eyeliner that whenever I looked up a review, no one said anything positive. But when I tried it, it was actually okay. I just couldn't wear it in my inner corner because that's where eyeliner smudge boots on me. But anyway, they. It wasn't really that bad. It wasn't like torturous, like someone was like choking me and being like, Yeah, if you use this eyeliner, you're gonna die. And I was like, It's okay. As long as I wear it on my other portion of my eyeliner, kind of look, it's not bad. But yeah. Hope I didn't waste almost a half hour of your life. If I did, I apologize. But you need the option to click this video, not me. I did not force you. As I just demonstrated a few minutes ago. Not even. It was excellent. <laughs> I'm all out of sorts. I work from 10 a.m. to 6.30. So excuse me if I'm not... May not make sense. <laughs> See? I just proved my own point. I'm loopy. As my boyfriend says, I'm sleep drunk. <laughs> I'm tired. But yeah. I'm gonna go now. Elf says, buy me, buy me. Go to my website and buy me. <laughs> buy the blush and cream and the bronzing cream. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Hasta the bye bye.